Hi. So as you can tell, there's a change in the setting. Well, I'm still in my room, but like, I feel like I always film in the exact same spot. So I decided to change it up a little bit for once. And yeah, um, anyways, I posted a link where you could anonymously send me your secrets. And I received about 900 secrets from you guys. And I haven't read through them yet. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be exposing you guys. Yeah, obviously I can't put all 900 of them in this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, comment for a part two and I'll do one eventually anyways let's get into this okay this one's kind of long let's see it one time i was at my aunt and uncle's house in british columbia and we decided to go in the hot tub so i put on my bathing suit and we went in the hot tub keep in mind i was on my period at the time oh this is not gonna end well and we had a pretty good time after a while it got fairly dark and i went inside to change for supper don't come at me for saying that because i'm from quebec and it's soupy in french exactly same so anyways i went to change in the downstairs bathroom and i took out my tampon to change it i had an instinct to wipe my crotch on the towel that i was using and the blood went everywhere Oh god. I ended up rinsing in the sink and I haven't told anyone, but whenever we go back to use the hot tub, there's always a reddish brownish stain on that specific towel. I told them I cut my hand open and I had to cut my hand by myself with the scissors they had in the bathroom to make it seem believable. You're joking. I'm mortified to this day. I'm mortified for you. You what? You cut your hand open with scissors to make it believable. I can't believe you did that. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, next one. Sorry if I'm like low-key slow at reading. I never read. I mean, I read my text messages, but nothing else. Once I really needed to pee, but I was too scared to go to the toilet because it was late and I didn't want my dad to tell me off. So I thought if I went for a wee on the blanket then it would absorb it. Wow, the pee went through the blanket and also through the floorboards. So we ended up having a leakage of pee through the kitchen ceiling. It went through the floor? Oh my god. That must have been so embarrassing. Okay, these are like really interesting. I love you guys. In first grade, we were doing this math exam. One classmate and I were like the two best students, so we were always competing. I don't remember how, but I accidentally hurt her arm so she couldn't be able to finish. How do you accidentally hurt her arm? Did you break it? Like, what did you do? I was cuddling with my cat and I fell asleep and I woke up and she was dead. So I felt really bad, but I didn't want anyone to know that it was me. So I put her in my brother's room. Everyone assumed she just died in her sleep, so yeah. You said that you were cuddling with her. Did you like roll over her? Maybe you like accidentally suffocated her or something. I shot myself in the hotel room with my friends and I tried my best to hide it, but then they started to wonder what that smell was. They found out and told tons of people. And you call those your friends? If they were your true friends and if they really cared about you, they wouldn't have told anyone. That is so embarrassing. What kind of friends do that? What in the Alabama is this? Okay, I have a crush on my... You have a crush on your what? I have a crush on my cousin and his sister is my only best friend and I have never told this to anyone. I think he likes me, but I don't know. By the way, he is so hot. <laughs> oh my god, sis. Oh my god. Um, I'm judging you really hard. I still love you, but I'm really judging you right now. When I was 16, I drove my dad's car and crashed it and my sister was also in the car. She's 18. And I told my dad it was her and she got kicked out of the house. She said it was me, but my dad never listened. And that's on being the youngest child. I once stole 50 euros from my mom and spent it on food for homeless people. So I'm not sure if it was a good thing or a bad thing. I mean... You stole it from your mom, so that, yes. That's really bad. But I mean, at least you spent it for the good, right? Does that make sense? I'm proud of you. Well, no, don't get the wrong idea. Next time, ask your mom for money if you want to do something like that. Oh my god, okay, this one's a long one. Okay, so this happened when I was 11, and I noticed that my legs were getting hairy, so as stupid as I was, I grabbed my mom's razor and started shaving away. I finished about two minutes later. When I was washing my hair, I noticed I was in the shower, by the way. I noticed that there was blood everywhere. My legs were covered in blood. I mean, no wonder you shaved your legs within like two minutes. It takes me like two hours. So I had obviously cut myself shaving, but I didn't know that. I thought I got my freaking period. So I stopped the shower and told my mom that I got my period. She gave me a pad to use and wear overnight. In the morning, there was no blood, so I was confused. A day later, I realized I cut my leg. It was a huge cut, literally like the size of a ruler. So I panicked and put around 13 band-aids on it. No one knows, but coincidentally, I got my period a month later. So my mom still thought it was my period. Should I tell my mom four years later? I mean, you know what? I think it'd be really funny if you told your mom now. I was in the fourth grade and it was my first day at this new school. I was really shy and this girl came up to me and sat with me at lunch. I brought my own lunch and she bought a hot lunch, so we traded some snacks. I have this granola bar I didn't want and she started choking and fell to the ground. Turns out she was allergic to peanuts and the granola bar I gave her had peanut oil in it. The lunch lady had to use an EpiPen on her. I mean, at least it wasn't like a severe allergy. Are you dumb? Stupid or dumb? Huh? When I was 10 years old, my parents had a small vase of grandpa's ashes ashes? Why do I say it like that? I had a small vase of grandpa's ashes on the wall shelf. One day I was doing just dance and I was getting digging into the moves and basically I hit the shelf and the vase fell and broke. I blamed everything on the cat and when my parents returned home we got rid of the cat. 
<gasps> no, not the cat. When I was little, I showed my sister and she was holding a stick that went into her head. And I just pretended that she fell over. She had to go to the hospital to get stitches and stuff. <gasps> oh my God. That must have hurt so bad. I know you're probably not going to answer this, but did it go through her head? Like, did it like, you know what I mean? Like, did it? Well, probably not. She'd probably be dead. But, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that must have hurt so much. Holy. I dumped water on my mom and blamed it on my brother. Then he got grounded and no one knows it was me. I'll say this again, and that's on being the youngest child and getting away with everything. I had a crush on my- Are you kidding? I had a crush on my cousin, but I never told anyone about that. Another secret is that I had a crush on my teacher when I was 10. But you know what? He was pretty young, only 21 years old. Only 21 years old. You were 10. Also, I love you, Kelly. You're the best, and you mean the world to me. I love you too. Sorry, I low key just judged you really hard, but I still love you to death. I may or may not have a cat hiding in my closet that I feed every day. It's been living there for four months. How does that work? Ew, your closet must smell so bad. I was once babysitting my neighbor's hamsters and me and my friend were having a sleepover. We were little. And we snuck the hamster upstairs and put my mom's eyeliner pencil up his booty and he pooped all over it. No kidding. She used it the next day. Oh my god. Ew. Poor things. I used to have a crush on you in sec one and I'm pretty sure you find me freaking kid friendly channel annoying because I used to spam you. Sorry and I've always kind of had a crush on you. Like now. For those of you that don't know what sec 1 is, that means 7th grade. Sec 2 is 8th grade, sec 3 is 9th grade, which is what I'm in right now. But to the person who said this, I know you're kidding. I know that's not true because there's no way, there's no way that you liked me back in sec 1 when I was looking like this. Boy, I'm really fans and they all sing along. Watch me dance when I walk past, it's too much swag. There's no way. But if it is true, which is probably not, you can like text me maybe, I don't know. I'm lonely. One time when I was six, my cousin had a small plastic doll that I really wanted and so, as any six-year-old girl would do, I stole it. A few months go by and I was playing with it in the bathroom while pooping. I went to flush and it would not go down. I then was panicking and didn't know what to do so I, uh, be prepared. I stabbed my poop with the doll's plastic arm and put it in the garbage. I returned it to her and she doesn't know till this day. It's been eight years. Ugh. So you got off the toilet, took the doll's arm and just at your poo? That's horrid. Poor doll. Imagine how the doll feels. I myself in the shower and shove it down the drain. But you did this for what? How do you shove it down the drain? Ew, you have to like really go in with your hands. You have to be like, that's disgusting. I caught my dad texting countless other women in January. So during quarantine, I was being really difficult and he threatens to take my phone away. So I blackmailed him into getting me an iPhone 11. That's really smart. But on a real note, you should really tell your mom. Like if you're watching this, please tell your mom because she doesn't deserve this at all. That's not- Oh my god, I just spilled my water everywhere. That's not fair to her at all. And obviously you might not want to tell your mom because you'd be scared that your parents split up or something like that. But if you truly want your mom to be happy, you should definitely tell her the truth because that's that's really gross of your dad to do that. I stole a lip balm from a store and I accidentally almost got caught, but instead I put it in this guy's bag and he's the one that got caught. No, poor guy. Uh, imagine that happened to you, anonymous person. Oh my god, sorry, I almost burped. Okay, this next one seems really long and interesting, so let's get into it. I thought I created a fake Instagram account, but I accidentally stayed on my main account and didn't switch over to the fake one. And I followed my teacher that I have a crush on. Oh god, this is definitely not gonna end well. And he accepted my request, even though I was a student. So I stalked his page to find out he was married and had a kid. So I went on his wife's account and DM'd her and pretended that I was a model agency worker and offered her a job to come model for a magazine, still thinking that I was on my fake account. Then she said, WTF, you're a kid. My husband knows you. He said you were his student and then I said, uh, no. I work for a model agency. Then she said, and why does your bio have your school initials on it? And I was like, oh crap. And then I found out that I was on my main and then the next day I went to school and my teacher said to me in front of the whole class, I didn't know that 14 year old girls could have the job of hiring people for model to work for a magazine. And he was dead staring at me. It was the most embarrassing moment of my life. That must have been so, so, so bad. How did you not realize you weren't on your fake account? Oh god, I feel so bad for you. That's horrid. At least you guys all know now. 
at least you guys know now to never make a fake account and text someone because this might happen okay guys this is the last one for today it was this one night when i was just a kid and my cousin and i always raced to go to the bathroom and i'm the younger one so i'm very slow anyways as always she wins and gets in first and sadly i had to wait she was in there for a very long time so i banged on the door and she being the most annoying person in the world she took her time more and i wanted to sh and i couldn't do anything so i was more desperate to go in the bathroom because it was almost coming out if you know what i mean and it came to the point where i couldn't hold it anymore so i sh in my bare hands gross i know you had to do that in your hands but like what did you do with it were you just standing outside of the bathroom door waiting until she'd come out and then you like plopped it in the toilet and flushed it or did you throw it out like what what happened after okay well that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and for submitting your secrets i really enjoyed reading through your secrets they were really entertaining funny some of them were special not in a good way and i really appreciate that you guys told me all about your crazy stories comment if you guys would like a part two and i will leave a link in the description box if you want to submit your secrets or your most embarrassing story times whatever it is tell me all about it and your story might get featured in my part two all right i'm done here once again thank you for watching i love you Peace out, homies. Bye.